Hello everybody, praise be to God and welcome to the bonus episodes of Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime. So, in between last episode and this episode, I did a lot of grinding. I got 30 of every type of enemy, including goodie bags, so we can get them all in our tank, and I grinded on a whole bunch of items to make uh, synthesizing the last items we need a lot easier. Now the first thing I'm going to do is read the letter from Princess Gluttonella that she sent, because I forgot to do that at the final episode. Oh, Rocket! I'm absolutely famished! Fried chicken, hamburgers, sushi, spring rolls, eggs, lasagna, cheesecake, popcorn... I want to eat them all now! Would you care to dine with me? And we get a new recipe for weapon tablets. You received a recipe for weapon tablets. These require free Vulcan shells and three BS2 blue streaks to create these. Weapon tablets are very, very interesting items. We'll get more into those later on. So what I'm planning for this bonus episode is first things first. We're going to the museum and we're going to get all of those enemies in our tank because I didn't actually recruit them. I just have their statues made. So go through this room. Got the beautiful collection of bronze statues. We already had this room filled. Now if we go up here, we got a lot more. Starting with the goodie bag. You were a pain in the butt to get. <laughs> it's better than jewelry. Sparkling it is. I like you, I like sparkling. Goodie bag is offered to be a crew member. I'm a speedy one. <laughs> I'm waiting. He's the toughest enemy to get by far. And the golem was also a bit tricky to get, a lot, very time consuming. It seems to want to help you. The golem offered to be in our tank. It seems very happy. That's a pretty awesome statue though. Now if we go down here, we got the Jinxters. The statue of the apple of my eye, Rocket! I must thank you! Jinxters are interesting. I'll use Frizz on the enemy, just wink and I'll be there before you can blink. And it's the Restless Armor slash Duck Knight. It is a privilege to clank be represented by this clank statue. I thank you, sire. To the death, I shall be steadfast by your side whene'er you call for me, Rocket. And the Dancing Flame. This statue is hot stuff! It'd burn me up not to be able to thank you, Rocket. He's a good tank member. I'm on fire right now, but if you don't call me up soon, maybe I'll burn myself out. So that's all the enemies. Woohoo! Also, one other thing is there are a bunch of canvases people are selling across town. I want to buy them all. And I can't remember who's selling what. Hey, dude. Oh, Splatrick. Hey, dude. No, you're not selling anything. You aren't either. Alright, so one thing we did in here, if we go to talk to this guy, have you acquired 20 steel broadswords? As a matter of fact, I have. I killed the rest of us armors on the clawline clutchers till I got 20. Good, this is for you. We get a recipe for Vulcan shells. Digestive system defective, burger and bun stuck inside. The steel broadswords you acquired will assist repairs. Okay. Go up here. 
It's incredible! All you have to do is hang it on your wall. I have a magical canvas that helps you dye it. Would you like to buy it for 500 gold coins? Why not? We get a new canvas. We can put these on the wall. In the... A palace. Apparently you can lose weight just by hanging it on your wall. I didn't shrink an inch though. Maybe you'll have more luck. And I believe there's nothing else around. Why are you here? Well, that's rude. Very rude. This guy. Ah, oh, Rocket, I've been waiting for you. Have you managed to get me those 20 catnips and 20 medicinal herbs? Yes! Marvelous! Thank you so much, Rocket. I knew that you were the person to ask. I knew you were the person to ask. Now I can put all my purchased books in order. Here, this is just a little something to say thank you. And we get a recipe for Overdrive Tablets, another type of tablet. But there's no point in just making this tablet on its own. They say you only see its true power when you combine it with other similar tablets. I don't know anything else about them. Try asking around in here, you might learn more. Did you get all 10 toy slimes for Pamby? Uh, not yet. But Pamby wants toy slimes. Alright, I'll get those. Do you know what an Anoop is, Rocket? It's an area of outstanding natural beauty, like our lovely bubbly Slimenia here. O okay, that's cool. Well, I guess we're buying some slimes for Pamby. Because why not? Good thing I have a bunch of money. Alright, he wants ten. I have one, so I can buy nine of them. Man, they are expensive. Holy cow. But I have ten of them now, so... Pamby better be happy. Hey, Pamby. Yes, I did. Yay, Pamby wakes you! Here's something really, really good like Pamby promised. And we get a recipe for power tablets. These are the free tablet recipes. Thank you! Pamby will be happy now! Yay! Those tablets are the toughest things to synthesize, by the way. Yeah. Well, anyhow, let's keep asking around to see who else is selling canvases. You good fighter! Me think painter too! Uh, you buy new canvas? Only 500 fang gummies! Okay. Why not? <laughs> fang gummy, Bob? You paint good fang gummy! Bob wants C! Also, check it out, we got a golem up here. It seems to be trying to congratulate you. Yeah, don't worry, Mori Mori will go there eventually. I am a mercenary. Exterminate all invaders. Protect Slomenia. Yeah, that's what I want to hear. So unless I'm mistaken, I believe that's everybody. Uh, give, hang on, I need to check something. So our alchemy recipes. One. Okay, we're missing free recipes. That's good. I know which free recipes are left. All right. So one other thing we're gonna do. We're gonna go in here. See the special medicine. We need that in order to cure Big Daddy's back. We want to do that, so we need three straw medicines and nine goddess statues. So straw medicines, let's make three of them. Grinding all those goddess statues was really time-consuming, because they are incredibly rare. There's really only one that you can grind on Call My Bluff, so you just have to grind it over and over again. And we get free straw medicines, yay. Now, let's see. Where is it? Special medicine. Special medicine is really not worth going to the effort to for uh, synthesize, except for the one for Big Daddy. And we get a perfectly formed special medicine. Yay! All right, now we're gonna go in here. Hey, Big Daddy. 
My back's giving me terrible trouble. I can't put it under any kind of strain. I've heard tell that special medicine can work a treat on back problems. If I could just fix this wretched back of mine, I could help you out in your tank. Yeah, I want to give the special medicine to Big Daddy. Ah, oh, that's special medicine, isn't it? Did you bring that for me, boy? You did? How wonderful. What a good soul you are. Quite honestly, I'm over the moon. Hopefully this should do the trick. Big Daddy uses the special medicine. His back is cured in an instant. Goodness me, the pain has completely vanished. Now it's my turn to help you, boy. I know Mamma Mia and I will join you in the Schleeman tank. Big Daddy and Mamma Mia are now available. When you want to jo us to join you in the tank, just talk to Duck Dorset in the garage. If you add us to your crew, we'll be able to help you fight. Yeah! Alright, so before we go and make our new crew, what we want to do is, now that we've rescued all 100 slimes, the final slime uh, ball, or this final spiked ball with 100 slime tons, has been moved off of this well. This is the hero's well. Let's jump inside, shall we? You hear a voice coming out of nowhere. Welcome, heroic rocket. You are the chosen one. If you succeed in completing my trial, I will present you with the Hero Sword. Will you attempt my trial? Yes. This world is of my creation. It is a world in which your powers will be put to the test. But strength alone will not suffice. I wish to also see you protect your friends. So now we have to fight Flucifer in a hand-to-hand -hand combat. And in addition to doing that, we also need to make sure our partners survive. All of them. However, they have a lot of HP. So, this is really not that hard of a fight. Especially if you can get all these guys on your head. And carry them around. The problem is, people like Bo are actually going to try to help you fight him. Which is not good. Because they suck. Really the only tough part of this is his wonky hitbox, which makes him very difficult to elastoblast into. Yeah, but your guys have way more HP than they would have in the tank battles, which is very good. This would be insanely annoying if they didn't. Oh yeah, I have blasted right into him. You are a true hero, Rocket. That is how you defeated the Dark One. And we get a hero sword. That is the best piece of ammo in the entire game, without a doubt. That hero sword is the mark of a true hero. Use it wisely co to continue to defend Slemenya. If you ever wish to attempt my trial again, you are welcome to return here. So it's a pretty easy trial. Like, my guys got beat up a whole bunch and they didn't actually die. So it's pretty darn easy. I think I've only failed it once. <laughs> Anyhow, now that we have the hero sword, let's go to our tank. So first off, we have some new HP ups. Two, we have the Slomenian Miracle, which requires seven Toy Slimes and two Metal King Swords. With this upgrade, the Shuiman will reach new heights. And then the final one, last HP up, which requires one Oracle Slime and five Kafrizzles, which is a piece of ammo that we haven't even gotten yet. This is the final upgrade. There is nothing more I can do after this. Yeah, those, those are really costly upgrades. So we'll, we will be on the lookout for those. Anyhow, I have big exciting news. Big Daddy is going to fight Vizu in the tank, and Mama Mia is going to fight Vizu in the tank. All right. First up, let's go to our ammo, shall we? So let's start by removing it all. I'm actually going to keep my Oracle comes out of the tank because I'm going to need those for synthesis. All right. The Hero Sword deals 120 damage. It is the single most powerful piece of ammo in the game, unless you count Kaboomite, which can potentially do more damage. And it can take up to three pieces of ammo hitting it before it gets brought down. So putting that in, definitely putting in the Meteorite. Definitely putting in the Kafrizzle. 
I'll put in the Oracle Slimes for now. I'll do that. I will also show off the Vulcan Gun and the Vulcan Bullets. Because I've been wanting to do that for a while now, and I actually got Vulcan Bullets. Put in the two straw Medicines. I have five Bastard Swords now, which is great. Uh, what else? I'll put in a Slime Knight for defeating the tank. The Destructo Ball, the Edged Boomerang. And... I got no shields, so I'm actually going to remove those free, so I can put in free mirror shields. So my ultimate goal is I need to do the rest of the stuff in the game, there's some bonus stuff to do, I want to get at least one of each piece of ammo, and I want to get all the HP upgrades. Oh, the crew. Duh! Alright. You are all dismissed. So we've got some new guys. So Big Daddy, he will infiltrate and sabotage and keep the baddies out. If the enemy tries to attack, I'll soon send them packing. Doesn't sound very good, but Big Daddy is quite possibly the best partner for infiltrating and sabotaging. He can just cause mayhem in people's tanks. So it's actually pretty decent. We have Mamma Mia. She can fire like crazy and use a special move called Mum Missile. I'll store up magic powers and become a really powerful bit of ammo, dear. She's very good. She's very efficient at loading the cannons, and the Mum Missile move turns her into a ridiculously powerful and fast piece of ammo. She'll rock it over super fast and deal hundreds of damage, so I'm absolutely putting her in the tank. So apart from that, let's look at all the enemies. So we've seen all of these guys. Next page, Bunnicorn, Pixie, Hammerhood. Goody Bag can do one thing and one thing only. Steal ammo. I'll use Zoom to get to the enemy tank, then steal their ammo. <laughs> so the Goody Bag doesn't sound good, but he is insanely fast. He will teleport into their tank, grab a piece of ammo, and then rock it off running. So he's really fast and actually fairly efficient, but again, it relies on the enemies having better ammo than you do. And even then, it's not as efficient as having someone who can load your own cannons. So sorry. Uh, we had the Mimic, we had the Cacti Ball, we had the Ghost, we had the Imp. Dancing Flame! He can infiltrate and sabotage or guard your commander. I'll go and scare the enemy. They'll soon see I'm too hot to handle. So, he, like Big Daddy, he is very, very good at infiltrating and sabotaging because of his Fire Breath attack, which can just hit everything and deals quite a bit of damage. He can break down the door real quick, so he's pretty good at that. The rest of his armor can also infiltrate and sabotage your guard your commander, Dur. I will infiltrate the Clank enemy tank, and I will act as your guard, sir. So, guarding your com the commander is not a very good thing, because he tends to just get in your way. And as far as infiltrating and sabotaging goes, like, he's good in that it's very hard for the enemies to defeat him because of his shield, but he's not that good at actually, like, destroying fiends in there, so he's not great. Killing Machine, we've seen him. Jinxter can fire like crazy or infiltrate and sabotage. However, he can teleport into the enemy tank to infiltrate and sabotage, which is kind of nice. Then the Golem will literally just wait around for you. He literally will just sit around in your tank and you can jump inside him and ride him around and beat stuff up. He is amazing for destroying all the enemy's engine, because he can just destroy the barriers insanely well. But he also just kind of gets in your way in your tank, and it's very easy to blow him up. So, I don't really like him all that much. So, I am going to put Big Daddy and Mamma Mia in the tank. And, um... Yeah, I'll put in Goodie Bag just to show him off, because he's super hard to get. <laughs> People want to see him. And the enemies I'll be going up against will have really good ammo. Alright. So, I did the hero as well. We've got a bunch of great ammo. What we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the Flying Quatras. So, you might be wondering, well, why are we doing that? Because haven't we grinded up on a bunch of stuff? We have. However, I'm going to show off why you want to come back here. There are a couple of reasons. One, you want to beat the final boss a second time. And two, you want to beat all of the tank battles here again. You can beat the tank battles here as many times as you want, and they give really, really good ammo for beating them. Alright, so I just want to make sure I'm not... Okay, cool. I want to make sure I don't miss any of the tank battles. Out of my way. Alright, first tank battle's up here. 
We do want to fight them all again. Your bravery impresses me. Allow me to do battle with you once more. So their tanks respawn. I'm not going to sh- well... I'm not going to show off these tank battles that we've already done before, because I've already done them before, but I'll cut to the end where we'll get a new item for beating them. Okay, so I said fight all of the tank battles again. Nope, you can skip right to the swivel one. The swivel one is the one that we actually want to go to. And I do mean you actually really want to go back to fight swivel here again, because you it's actually a completely different fight, and you actually get a really good reward for doing this. It's 20 cent! There ain't no way a good-for-nothing slime could all beat Swivel! I don't believe it, buy it. If it's true, then I'm gonna be a pushover for you, right? Well, let's see what you got! Call your Shaleman Tank, pal! I ain't gonna lose to no slime ball! So Swivel's not here, instead a Platypunk has taken his place. And he will give us a very special reward. You are trying to tell me that pea shooter tank of yours beats Swivel? A liar's worse than a crook, pal. It's time I showed you the big sleep. So it's a bloody punk you win three dancing flames in the S cargo snail of the century. New tank. All right, battle stations, fire at will. All right, so we got three different uh, guys. So Goodie Bag has to steal ammo. I'm gonna set Big Daddy to infiltrate him. Actually, no, I'm gonna set him to keep baddies out. Because I know the Dancing Flames are going to try getting in here. Then Mamma Mia I'm setting to Mum Missile. Simply because A, I want to show it off. And B, with the Vulcan Gun and the Vulcan Bullets in my tank, I don't want any other partners using those and just throwing them out of the cannons. Because that's bad. Oh, and speak of the devil. So, yeah. Goodie Bag just warps immediately. This is a Vulcan Gun. What you want to do is you want to throw it here where there's the Vulcan Gun icon pointing out the window. So Mamma Mia is going to charge up, and when she's fully charged, Elasto blast her into the cannon, and watch on the top screen. She's super fast, and she's going to deal a ton of damage if she possibly can reach the enemy tank. Whoa! 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 Whoa, 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 whoa! So the Slime Knight, I threw him on the Vulcan bullets, and he started attacking me. That makes sense. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal the tank, and when you get the Vulcan bullets, you want to throw them into the Vulcan gun, and it'll sh start shooting out the window, and as you can see, it's dealing two damage to the tank per bullet. So a single faint of Vulcan bullets will have 30 bullets, so that'll deal two 30 times per faint of Vulcan bullets that go in there. And there is literally no protection against it, they cannot possibly block it. So it's super powerful and super effective, it's just a pain in the butt to set up. And this is why I didn't want Mamma Mia screwing things up for me. And Big Daddy, you suck at your job. You want to keep these guys out of the tank, not put them in. You're fired. Go sabotage their tank. So another Fina Vulcan Bullets. So by throwing it in here... It'll deal 60 damage, but only if it's facing the enemy's tank and you've got it lined up next to the gun point on your the t front of your tank. You can also you can have it pointing anywhere and throw it in, and it will shoot and it'll damage enemies. But that's really inefficient, and unfortunately, you can't carry it around while it's shooting. If you last a blast into it and pick it up while it's shooting, then it will stop shooting, which is really annoying. Also, check it out, Hero Sword. Ooh, man! The nice thing is, because they're all trying to beat me up in my tank, only the commander is actually left in their tank to shoot ammo out. So I'm just schooling him.
Vulcan bullets. All right. If I throw the Vulcan bullets in, all right, that can happen. So one thing I discovered: the Slime Knight. If you hit. So one thing I discovered, at least in the overworld, I believe I either used the Slime Knight to hit a fireball that a Jinxter shot at me, or I let myself get hit by a fireball when I had a Slime Knight on, and it became a Fire Slime Knight. Like, when I used its sword, it was actually, like, shooting fire out of its sword, which was amazing. I might have to show it off in another bonus set video. Or actually, I could show it off in this video. If I wanted. Alright, goodbye. So this is the reason why you actually want to do this tank battle, because we're about to get a very, very special item for doing it. Probably the best hidden item in the game. We get a BS-free Slime Hawk, and that is the only BS-free Slime Hawk in the entire game. You ha literally have to go and fight this random tank battle a second time. Can't tell you how long it took me to find that. But it's a really good piece of ammo. Son of a slime! It's true? It still don't wash with me. Well, they say seeing is believing. And now what we're going to do is we're going to fight the final boss again, because that is actually worth doing, and again, you get a special reward for doing so. What are you doing in here? How did you get in? I won't be kept out while there's food to be eaten in here. Are you on repeat play or something, lady? I told you there ain't a bean left to eat. You're just being mean now. I'm not afraid to blow it again, you know. Does she ever think about anything other than food? Just what kind of example does the Cana Slamenia set for his kids, huh? Anyway, I ain't forgiven you for the last time, slime. I'm really gonna let you have it this time. I ain't gonna hold back. So yeah, we literally get to fight the Plob Father again. Also, I am firmly on the Plob Father's side in this argument. What the heck is Glottonella doing back here? That's still one of the coolest moves in the whole game. Plob Father for Smash Brothers. Forget Piranha Plant. I want Plob Father or Swivel or Rocket in. You're a tough nut for a slime. It's time I used my secret weapon. <laughs> How'd you like Don Dragon Slime Ball? And the, his dragon form's actually a bit harder to fight the second time. He's faster. Goodbye. You sure you're a slime pal? My secret weapon never fails. It already has before. Well, John Claude Lonely, will you tell me where the food is now? I'll blow it. I will. It's Don Clavion, you crazy dame. You better remember that now. And I told you to keep your mitts off that flute. Put it down. If you want me to put it down, then tell me what that mouth-watering smell is. Otherwise, I shall summon that hideous monster again. What's the matter with you, lady? There ain't none to eat in here! 
The crazy, greedy, dope ball blew it. You're even better than me, lady. It doesn't matter. I know Rocket will defeat it for me again. So let me have my food. I ain't never gonna get food to you, am I, lady? Uh, holy crawly old, here it comes again! Eek! Mummy! Scary John's back again! Oh, when am I going to get my dindins? Excuse me, Rocket. I'll leave you to it. She's the worst! Who dares to summon me again? Who dares summon the Dark One? So, thought you'd have another crack, did you? Just because you beat him once, that doesn't mean you can take the Dark One on alone now. And then, anyway, I'm not going to let him defeat you. That pleasure is reserved for me. So just remember, I'm only helping you out so I get the chance to beat you later, okay? Okay, let's get the Gottschleman in the air and kick some Fusifer butt. So, Glanella literally just summoned Satan from the depths of hell. Again! Just because she wants food. She's the worst. Oh, I just realized Slivel might be a huge pain in the butt. If he's like, oh, I'm going to throw the Vulcan bullets out of the cannon, which they're incredibly weak if you do that. Oh, well. Whatever. The music's so good, I can't complain. I'm really not kidding when I say you do want to fight this guy again. Much like the level battle here, you actually do get a special reward for doing that. Also, unless I'm mistaken, those drills actually might knock my Vulcan gun away. Nope, never mind. Is there a Dragon Quest orchestra somewhere? Because I would love to hear this song, like, orchestrated. Oh, hi, Swivel. I didn't even realize I was carrying you. <laughs> I'm already almost out of HP! This is the worst! Probably because I have less ammo to throw because of my Vulcan gun and Vulcan bullets. Doggone it, those drills are the worst. Especially when they chain you together. Nope. That's fine, I can keep Lucifer out as long as I want. Oh, come for crying out loud! Pity, pity the lowly worms. How can you lose with Gott Schleeman? Well, because you are a sucky partner this time, Slivel, that's how. There, I said it. Met your match here, Lucifer. Oh shoot! And he's got his laser going. Well, because our HP is already at minimum, we might as well just let the laser hit us, right? Defeating my servant changes nothing. Yeah, watch the laser hit us, and watch the amount of damage it does. Tumble to the depths of darkness! Yeah, that's, I believe, just an instant KO if he hits you with that. Guess who's back, back again? Lucifer is back again.
There's one thing I know how to do, it's fight. There's one thing I know, it's good video game music! Ah, okay. I was worried for a second there. Alright, Slivel, just- you- you just keep loading the cannon, Slivel. Not with the bad ammo, like the Vulcan bullets. No! I see you! Stop that. I wish your AI would not automatically throw Vulcan bullets, or any of the Vulcan weapons for that matter. Super annoying. Also, one thing I did not know, if you stack three Vulcan bullets on top of each other, they make Vulcan shells. I assume the same is with Vulcan pellets and Vulcan bullets. Get that away from my engine room. Him using that move in your engine room is more or less an instant game over. He has 6 HP left. This is great. You know, some of all that wouldn't happen if you didn't get in my way. Thank goodness he stops auto-firing after your HP is at zero. Because that would just be even the worst. Disgusting filth. How dare you. Hey, Flute Warrior, I'm gonna finish him off. Uh, no, I don't think you are, Slivel. You've done basically nothing this entire time. Brazen fools? That's far enough. How come that doesn't destroy his own barriers? Quickly, Clawleon, vanquish them. I mean, dude, you can't expect to actually win this time when we've already won in the exact same situation once before. Oh, hey, Swivel. About time you showed up. He can't even just. Okay, that's a pretty epic finish, though. <laughs> I must admit. And so it was that Lucifer died a second time. No, I cannot be defeated. You will suffer for this, fools. <laughs> well, we got the BS free slime hawk, and that's all I really wanted. You receive a recipe for Kafrizzles. You receive a recipe for Meteorites. So that's the way to get the two of the last re recipes in the game. You have to beat the game twice to do that. So now we have all but one recipe. Looking on the last uh, one, we have the Metal King Sword. We need three Bastard Swords. And one Lump of Oracle come for that. Weapon Tablets, we need three Vulcan Shells and three Blue Streaks. Kefrizzles, we need six Devil's Tails and two Oracle Slimes. Yeah, um, Power Tablets, we need nine Oaken Clubs and nine Bastard Swords. Meteors, you need two Kaboomites and five Oaken Clubs. And then Overdrive Tablets, you need three Oracle Slimes and three Pom Poms. And then there's one more recipe we're missing. Now, I know we've already done a lot, but the thing is... There's one thing we have left to do before we go to Tank Master mode, and we, it makes sense to just do it in this episode. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Mount Krakatruda, because Swatsy's... I say, I heard something about Slivel going to Mount Krakatruda. We saw in the credits for the final episode that he was waiting there. So if we go back to the place where we fought him the very first time, he'll be back. That's the wrong warp. And it looks like I'll have to do some more grinding in between episodes, because I want to get one of every item, and I need to get five Kefrizzles! That's going to be insanely difficult.
All right, Swivel. Hmm. What are you doing here? You want to sell this once and for all, huh? Yeah, kind of. Do you want to call on the Schleeman tank and do battle with Swivel? Yes. Hmm. This time I'm gonna beat you. Then I'll get stronger than I am now. And I'll find stronger and stronger opponents to beat and keep fighting forever. I'm gonna crush you, Rocket. Let's do this. And we get to fight Swivel for the final time! And I normally say he's an insanely tough fight, except he's not, because again, you can just use the strategy of you go into his tank and beat him up. Come on, kid. Let's see what you got. That sounds good. Hopefully Big Daddy can keep him at bay for a bit. Also, Swivel has insanely good ammo, so the goodie bag will actually be kind of helpful here. That took a while for his meteors to blow up. You go, goodie bag. I believe he only has... Unless I'm utterly mistaken, I believe the only ammo he actually has are Kafrizzles and Meteors. Which are two of the best pieces of ammo in the entire game, so... Yeah. Thankfully, he doesn't have any hero swords. But he's gonna kick your butt pretty darn hard. Got a lot of Vulcan bullets, but without the gun... Not bad, but you gotta do better than that. Oh, I haven't taken damage yet! That's amazing. Dane, Big Daddy's definitely doing his job. Big Daddy is definitely doing his job, because... Swivel's not firing nearly as much ammo as he normally does for this battle. Alright, can we please, please get the Vulcan gun soon? Apparently not. Whoa! Did you see how much damage to Mamma Mia dealt? Huh, <laughs> you sure toughened up. Like, she just destroyed half of his HP. That is absolutely insane. Okay, this is a really good combo. Holy cow! Oh! Swivel's dead. With all the Vulcan bullets I have. Also, I should let you know Vulcan shells are even better because they deal 3 damage per shot as opposed to 2 damage per shot. And yes, throwing them in the... Vulcan gun successively does like it does what's the word you can stockpile the bullets like <laughs> Mamma Mia you are the greatest partner you can put in a tank by far she hit her tank twice and he's dead I haven't taken damage yet I mean I'm going to take damage okay so Big Daddy completely held off Swivel. Like, he could barely fire anything, and Mamma Mia just dealt insanely high damage. This That was the best decision I could have made. I have never, in my entire... In the many times I've fought Swivel here, because you can fight him more than once, and you definitely want to fight him more than once, because he gives you really good prizes. I've never beaten him with this much HP left. Even the times where I enter his tank and try to beat him up. I've never finished with this much HP left. So as a reward, 
we get Oracle Slime. However, after the first time you fight him, you can just have a chance of getting a bunch of great items. Like, you can get Oracle Slimes, you can get Meteors, you can get Kefrizzles. So if you want to get Kefrizzles, beating Silvo here is probably your best bet. Because they are insanely hard to synthesize. I joined the plop so I could find tougher opponents to do battle with. But it looks like that's over now. I found my nemesis. I won't lose to you next time. Next time, it'll be different. So we got a little bit more depth on Swivel, which is cool. Anyhow, I think it's time for us to head home. Yay! So that's going to do it for the first bonus episode. We were able to do a whole lot! Now, here's the thing. Tank Master's mode is pretty long. How do I did not remember throwing an imp on a rail cart. Tank Master's mode is pretty long, so that might have to be two or three videos. Heck, it might even have to be four videos. We'll just have to wait and see. I'm going to play that by ear. Because there are at least 12 tank battles you have to do. With it. Actually, maybe not 12. Actually, I think 12. 12 or 13 sounds about right. That's a lot of tank battles, so that'll have to be multiple episodes. So, thanks for watching this bonus episode, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie, and I hope you join me next time when we take on Tank Master Mode. And I might do some more grinding before then. We'll have to wait and see until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless you, my slime.